Oh, okay. Well, I've done a little bit of planing on it, but these uh, rough deals here, you know, and like this chunk right here on the live edge, I'm going to use a belt sander and these sharp edges. Just smooth all of this stuff up. Got to do the tabletop too. But I'm going to get, get to work on that.
the rough sanding. I might attach the benches, work on that because I'm not worried about the higher grit sanding anywhere but the top of the bench. So might do that, let the belt sander cool down a little and then do some more sanding. So here we go. I actually didn't get the sanding on video, but that's because I wanted to use this yesterday. Just knocked it out real fast. But it's been sanded up to 320. That's all the further I'm going to sand it up. Well, it's fairly smooth. It's not perfect, but it's not going to stay perfect because it's going to be outside. But I uh, put some oil blend seed oil on the top. You know, there's some cool stuff like uh, this doesn't really show up, but there's a nice divot there. Picked out a soft spot there. The kids poke some rocks, they rock tumbled in there. And once the oil sets up, I'm going to try pouring some epoxy in there. You know, once the oil gets all dry, but I want to get the bottom side all oil. So, you know, throw some cedar core or some treated cores on the ground here and flip this over. And then I'll show you real quick. I just got that. Just using boiled linseed oil. Got a rag, a couple brushes. Um, where did I set? Oh. Then I got this stuff. It's called Through the Rough. It uh, seals leak that asphalt can't, so it's like for patching your roof. Dries clear, slightly flexible. It smells and looks kind of like rubber cement, but I'm going to try putting that down on the legs where it sits in the dirt to try and keep that from rotting out. So let's get this thing flipped over here. I just want to walk it back a little. I have to clean them feet up though. After this, before I that stuff on them. Oh, just got some what is this 50 grit and I'm just gonna Pretty much I'm using this to get the bits of dirt off. So on the boiled linseed oil, yeah, I got a little bit of that. Get the rough on the finger there. That ought to make the gloves stick real well. But I'm gonna put some gloves on because the bigger, broader areas. Got these brushes here, but I'm just gonna use a rag and just uh, wipe it right in. Down. Let's see if we can do this without getting everything too oily. There you go, now you can see the 
difference in the oiled side and the knot. I'll get over in there and then I'll step out and get the ends and get the bottom of the benches. So thanks for watching. Don't forget to uh, like, comment, and subscribe, and we'll uh, do some more. I should probably get into some milling first thing in the morning tomorrow, and I'll uh, maybe throw the camera up for that. But pile's almost gone. Um, about time to get up and cut some more. So we'll get some videos of that too. So catch you all later.